there's any ghosts here, can you let us know by coming through this thing? Uh, but if you're upset, don't bother. Just be nice, guys. The tension you feel, like when Gordon's saying, speak to me, speak to me, and you're watching going, don't speak to him, don't speak to him, don't speak, and then they don't, and it's just a relief. Do you want to communicate with us? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. Gordon's leading the way. Yep. You get in the middle, and I'll protect. It's, it's like a pensioner sandwich. <laughs> with no ghosts upstairs, Gordon's taking us down. Is everyone with us? We can't leave anyone behind. We're just here passing through a couple of days, no more. Young boy and his mother looking for fun, that's all. Looking for soul food. Looking for soul food. Dancing clubs. Ha! Mysteries. <laughs> and Ludo. Okay, let everyone in, so let's keep that exit nice and safe so we can all run out. Here yeah. you come. Gordon wants us to meet the ghost of a young slave boy called Jacob. Use any of those devices to say that you're here. Jacob died in mysterious circumstances at a young age whilst being forced to work at Sorrel Weed House. And this is the room he makes contact in. Can you turn on the flashlight? If it does turn on, I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> Thankfully, my pants are safe for now. Oh, my God. What? Are you in readings? No. What? That bench has got feet. Lion's feet. Oh, don't be scared. It's a lion bench. Right, enough's enough. Let's bond with Jacob. Mum? Why don't you sit next to Jacob? No. You sit next to him. I'll take a knee. Is that all right, Jacob? Whoa. Ah! Okie dokie. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> When I put my knee on the lion bench, the ghost detector started flashing like a pervert, which means Jacob's here. I'm going to put my knee on there and see if he moves. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's all about the knees. Jacob is a leg man. So we're having a bit of fun. We're not taking it seriously. Who fancies a pint? <laughs> and then, from nowhere, this happened. There was a massive bang, and not just me, not just my mum, but Ghost Hunter Gordon and the entire film crew shat their pants. Oh, crikey. Christ, alive. Something literally went bump in the night. Talk us through the possible explanations for what just happened. One, ghost. B, natural disaster. C, house is old. D, Joe. E, ghost. <laughs> ah, fuck off! <laughs> I thought that was a dog. <laughs> I thought it was a ghost dog that you read about. What was that? I don't what know. What was it? I thought it was a ghost dog. <laughs> what was that? Cos something just went flying was, through here. Oh, I thought it was a ghost dog. What was it? That's my only explanation. So it went through you. It was a ghost dog. I saw a ghost dog and that's me done now and I'm going to have to sleep with my mum again. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know you probably can't see it and I sound a bit crazy. <laughs> I thought it was a ghost dog that you read about. But I genuinely believe I was visited by some sort of ghost Labrador. Could have been Jacob. It isn't Could like, have been honestly. Jacob. A little child. I don't know. Well, so, it, was, that, it was riding a dog. <laughs> Something just went through here, though. Christ, no wonder they killed him. <laughs> don't be horrible. Scary little shit. Is this the coach house, what we would call a coach house in England? It's uh, a carriage. Why, why are you asking these questions oh. now? <laughs> <laughs> Just seen a ghost. So who lived here? Um, <laughs> Come on, you chickens. They, what? What are you talking about? 